Have you noticed the surge of nature-themed reels taking over social media, especially on Instagram? Right now, this account has exploded in popularity, amassing over 400,000 followers in just a few months and generating thousands of dollars every month. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how you can tap into this trend using AI technology to create similar content quickly and efficiently. We'll explore the essential tools, including a set of well-crafted prompts, text-to-image AI, and image-to-video AI, and I'll share the best strategies to help you monetize your efforts. Don't skip ahead. You'll miss out on crucial tips that could make the difference in earning at least $7,000 a month with these types of videos. So stick around as we dive into one of their videos and uncover what makes it so successful. To create a similar video, we'll follow three key steps. The first step is generating AI images that resemble the ones you've just seen. For this, we'll be using a powerful AI tool called Leonardo AI. I've included the link in the video description below. Start by signing in with your Google account, which will bring you to a page where you can explore an array of stunning AI-generated images created by Leonardo AI. While this tool isn't entirely free, a basic account gives you 150 free credits each day, which is more than sufficient for what we need to accomplish. Once you're in, click on Image Creation to get started. On the next page, you'll find a box where you can enter your prompts. I've already prepared some prompts for you, which you can download for free from the video description. Your task is simple. Copy and paste these prompts into the box one at a time. Feel free to tweak them to create different variations. If you're using Midjourney AI, you can also apply these prompts to generate high-quality images there as well. Now, be sure to choose the correct aspect ratio before you start. I'm going with 916, but you can also go with 2-3 if that suits your project better. Next, head over to the presets and select the anime preset. Once you click here, the AI will generate your images within seconds. As you can see, I've created some incredible visuals using this AI tool. You can find all the prompts I used in the video description below. We've now successfully finished the first step. Step two involves turning our images into animated videos, and we can do this effortlessly within Leonardo AI. Start by selecting the image you want to animate, then click on the small icon labeled Generate Motion Video. I recommend selecting the motion strength between three parts five, otherwise the animation usually looks very unclean. Trust me, I've tried it all before. The higher you make the motion strength, the more unnatural the animation looks. After that, click here, and in just a few seconds your video will be ready. Here's the final result. It looks great. Once you're satisfied, you can download all your videos by clicking on the small download icon. Let me show you another way to animate images. First, open a new tab and head over to Kling AI. If you don't have an account yet, go ahead and create one, or just log in if you already do. And guess what? Every day you log in, you'll get 66 credits. Nice, right? Next up, click on AI videos. Since we want to animate an image, select image to video. Now upload the photo we previously created with Leonardo AI. For the prompt, just type something simple like moving sky and stars and set the prompt relevance to 0.65. Scroll down a bit and bump up the video length to 10 seconds. Finally, hit generate. Boom, your video is on its way. Easy peasy, right? The generation process might take a few minutes, so grab a snack or do a little dance while you wait. But hey, while that's cooking, let me show you another way to animate your images. Open a new tab, type Haper AI into Google and open the page. If you don't have an account yet, make one. It's quickest if you just use your Google account. Haper AI gives you 300 credits when you sign up, which is more than enough for what we need. Click on image to video, then select keyframe conditioning. Here's the trick. Upload the image twice, once as the first frame image, and again as the last frame image. This will give you a smooth, natural animation. Now, head to the little clock icon in the bottom left and extend the duration to 8 seconds. Finally, pop in your prompt again, moving sky and stars, and hit create. It's going to cost you 40 credits, but hey, it's worth it. Once your video is done, let's make it a bit longer by adding four more seconds. Just click the extend 4S button under the video. To wrap things up, we'll boost the video quality by clicking on enhance. And just like that, your video is ready to download. Go ahead and hit that download button. Now, before we continue to the next step, let's check out the results. We've put together three animations and I believe the hyper AI version stands out the most. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Now that we've completed the second step, let's move on to the next one. Editing. This is the part that's the most fun, especially using our favorite tool, 
CapCut. We'll start by creating a new project and adding the video we liked the most. In my case, that's the video from Hyper AI. Let's drag that file into CapCut. All right, let's dive right in. First, we're going to click on that shiny blue plus sign to drop our video into the timeline. Exciting stuff, right? Now, as you can see, our video is a quick 12 seconds long, but before we stretch it out, let's give it a little zoom in action. Head over to the top right of the box and adjust the video scale until that sneaky Hyper AI watermark disappears like magic. Next up, let's duplicate this video. You can either hit Coral plus C or Command plus C for my Mac friends, or if you're feeling fancy, right click on the video and select copy. Easy peasy. Now drag that playhead to the end of the video, right click and paste it back into the timeline. Boom. We just doubled our video length from 12 to 24 seconds. We're practically wizards. Now it's time to add some spice with a transition. Head over to the top right and click on the transitions tab. I'm going with the mix transition because why not? This will make the video look like it's on an endless loop and voila. That transition is smooth like butter, just the way we want it. Next, let's select both videos in the timeline and hop back to the top right again. Click on speed and let's crank it up a notch. Faster animations? Yes, please. Now, we're going to select both videos again, right click and choose create compound clip to merge them together. It's like creating the ultimate video sandwich. Delicious. Since we sped up the video, it's a bit shorter now. No worries, we'll just extend it again and throw in that same transition. We're pros at this by now. All right, let's give our video some life. Move your mouse to the top left and click audio. Next, click on music and then casually glide your mouse over to the right side of the search field. You'll see a little window that says all. Go ahead and click on that. And from the list, pick commercial. It's time to add some background music to get the viewers vibing. I'm searching for something chill, so I'm typing in relaxing. Find a track that speaks to your soul, give it a listen, and then drag it into the timeline. Or click that blue plus button next to the star. Either way, your video just got a whole lot groovier. While the music is still selected, move the playhead to the end and hit W to trim the music perfectly to the length of your video. No more awkward silences. Now let's add some polish. Go back to the top left and click on Filter. Search for Clear and add the Clear 2 filter. This is like putting your video in HD mode. Everything looks so much better and sharper. Give your masterpiece a final watch. If you're happy with the result, head up to the top right, hit that big blue export button, and send your video out into the world. And just like that, you're done. Wasn't that a piece of cake? If you've got any burning questions about editing, drop them in the comments below. Now, let's check out that final result. Nice. Our final step is to discover how to monetize these videos and understand how this Instagram account is generating money. By examining their bio closely, you'll notice they use three main strategies to make money. The first method is by offering freelance services. They provide custom natural video creation services to their audience. You can see an example where they invite users with the message, want unique AI art tailored just for you? Slide into my DMs. You might wonder why people are willing to pay for these videos. The answer lies in the comments on their viral posts. There's a strong interest in similar content. The second revenue stream comes from selling wallpapers. They take the AI generated images and sell them as high resolution wallpapers as highlighted in their profile. You might ask why people would purchase purchase these images when they could create similar ones with AI for free. The secret is that while AI is accessible to everyone, not everyone knows how to craft the perfect prompts to generate top quality images. The proof is in the numbers. They've sold over 1,700 wallpapers which is remarkable. Each wallpaper is priced at $3, and since AI produces these images in seconds, it's a lucrative business. The third way they monetize is by selling online courses. They offer a $100 course that teaches how to generate AI images similar to what you've seen. While you've already learned how to do this for free in this video, having access to well-crafted prompts is essential. I've included my prompts in the description, and if you need more, feel free to message me. If you grow a similar account, you can sell the same course. With just 10 sales per month, you can earn $1,000. This isn't too difficult if you have a solid follower base and know how to market and sell your content. I hope this gives you a clear understanding of how to make money with a faceless account, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. If you found this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us. If you want to watch similar videos, go to my playlist, How to Create Faceless YouTube Videos. Thank you for watching.